another week and more chaos at our airports. And even if you wanted to go anywhere, getting a passport is turning into a Canadian-made nightmare. The minister is claiming that there's a surge in application, but that's just not true. Over the last 10 weeks, the surge the government is talking about is only half of what it was before COVID. So if no one was laid off and no one at Passport Canada is working from home, will the minister responsible for the chaos tell us why anyone is still waiting for a passport they applied for in March? Yeah. Parliamentary Secretary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the honourable member for her question, Mr. Speaker. As, as we've discussed, there has been an increased surge in demand of passports with the ease of travel restrictions. In preparation for that, Mr. Speaker, the minister and officials arranged that 600 new employees were hired in September 2021, with an additional 600 being hired at this time. In addition to that, Mr. Speaker, all Service Canada employees are back at work, whether they are teleworking or whether they are in an office, they are at work. And to disparage that is really questionable, Mr. Speaker. I really want to thank our public servants for everything that they've been doing for Canadians and continue to work during this time. Thank nice you. Job. First on Hill. Perhaps the Parliamentary Secretary can tell us what she thinks the word surge actually means. Passport Canada is at 48,000 passports this week. She just said that. They used to do more than 90,000 before COVID. So I've got a few simple questions. How many passports are in the queue? Can she explain why she's telling Canadians about a magical surge that isn't happening? And when can she give this House a straight answer so that Canadians don't have to line up at 3 a.m. for a basic government service? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As the member well knows, during the pandemic, many Canadians didn't renew their passports and many Canadians didn't bother to check what the updated times when their passports would be. Nevertheless, Mr. Nevertheless, Mr. Speaker, the minister has been working closely with officials. As a matter of fact, she's at a processing centre in Mississauga today to see how we can increase, capa increase capacity and efficiency. And may I mention, Mr. Speaker, that the 48,000 from this week is a 10% increase from last week, so that week over week we are working with Service Canada and Passport teams to increase efficiencies. Thank you. Oh, Member for Fort McMurray, Cold Lake. Oh, sorry. Hi, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Canadians are being told to go in person to passport office if they have to travel within 45 days. So Tia took time off work and made a five-hour drive to get to Service Canada's passport office in Edmonton. She lined up at 4.30 in the morning and had proof of imminent travel, but was triaged out of the line because she wasn't deemed urgent enough. Oh, wow. So in total, 10 hours of driving, a hotel bill, time off work, and no passport. Folks living in my riding and in rural areas across Canada can't just whip into a passport office on a whim. So when will the minister fix this passport chaos? Yeah. Yeah. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, Service Canada and Passport Canada employees are working closely in teams to ensure that measures are taken to serve Canadians to ask for passport services. Those who are coming to Passport Canada Services Centres within 45 days of travel are encouraged to put their applications in in person and are ensured that their passports will be processed efficiently. As the member knows, as we've worked with her and many other members in this, in this House, those who have imminent travel do have an ability to work closely with the Minister to ensure that their documents are received to them on time. Thank you.